Hi students we have already discussed some of the uses of present perfect tense in our previous video Today we are going to discuss some other uses of present perfect tense The present perfect tense is used for repeated or habitual action For example Twinkle has practiced the game regularly and has always won awards. So this sentence shows that it was a habitual action. Twinkle has practiced the game regularly and has always won awards. So this regularly, always, often such words show that this is a repeated action or habitual action let us see another example i have often wondered why he acts in this manner here it is very clear it is a repeated action i have often wondered so this word often shows it is a repeated action next we see the use of present perfect tense in broadcasts and newspapers it is used to introduce an action which will then be described in the simple past tense the time of the action normally give given in the second sentence for example seven dreaded tourists have escaped from tiga jail they used a rope climbed 15 foot high wall and escaped in a stolen jeep here you see that a past action is introduced with the present perfect tense and then in the second sentence onwards the real action is expressed in simple past tense present perfect tense is also used to describe an action that has taken place recently or to announce a new information for example oh i have cut my finger the road is closed There has been an accident. Another example from the news. The police have arrested two men in connection with the robbery. All these sentences show some recent happening or they give a new information. Another use of present perfect tense is It is often used in correspondence in letters or emails. Let us see an example. Thank you for your letter which I have just received. I am sorry I have not written to you for a long time. Next we see the use of present perfect tense. How much or how many or how often something has happened up to now from the past till now for example i have drank six cups of coffee today it means that this morning from 6 o'clock to now we can consider it is 10 o'clock in the morning and from 6 to 10 i have drank 6 cups of coffee let us see another example my father has often tried to stop smoking so he has tried from the past few years up to now to quit smoking present perfect tense is also used to describe things that haven't happened or in questions with ever and never for example 
John hasn't found. John might have gone out and he hasn't found up to now. Has Peter said anything to you? Have you ever seen a ghost? I have never seen one. So in such sentences, we use present perfect tense. Now we are going to see an important use of present perfect tense with gone to and been to. Let us see an example. Jim is away on holiday. He has gone to Spain. It means that he is there now or on his way there. Has gone to means either he is already there in Spain or he is on his way to Spain. Let us see another example. Jane is back home from holiday now. She has been to Italy. She has been to shows that she has now come back from that place. We usually say I have been to a place. For example, I have been to Mumbai. I have been to Singapore. Present perfect tense is also used to talk about a period that continues until now. We have already seen this rule. But here we are talking about with a certain adverbial phrases like recently, in the last few days, so far, since breakfast, etc. Have you heard from George recently? I have met a lot of people in the last few days. Everything is going well. We haven't had any problems so far in the last few days. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. It's nice to see you again. We haven't seen each other for a long time. Use the present perfect tense with the phrases like today, this morning, this evening, and so on, when these periods are not finished at the time of speaking. For example, I have drank four cups of coffee today. Perhaps I will drink more before today is finished. Have you had a holiday this year? I haven't seen Tom this morning, have you? All these examples given in this video are of great use, my dear students. Please practice it and it will help you out in your day-to-day -day conversations.